Hi guys and welcome to the video. Today I'm reviewing a brand to see if it's any good for women transitioning from their 30s into their 40s. I've seen a couple of local YouTubers give a review on these, this brand and it had mixed results so I thought I'd jump in there and give it a go myself, see what I thought. Then I can recommend it to you guys. So the brand I'm talking about is at your local Kmart and it's called the OXX brand. It's a really affordable brand so I won't deny I was a little bit dubious and didn't have high high expectations here. But there were a couple of pleasant surprises so with that in mind let's get started. So guys, the first products I'm going to talk about are the ones that I hated. I don't know how else to put it. I hated them. Uh, <laughs> let's just jump right in there. The Makeup Setting Spray by OXX brand did not float my boat at all. It is incredibly watery. It smells like alcohol. The sprayer on it sprays out these huge droplets that just fill your face like rain. It didn't hold any makeup down for me or set anything for the day and basically I think it's just rubbish. I think it's got rose hip oil and vitamin C in it but I really don't know how much because yeah, it doesn't matter how much, I, I just hate it. <laughs> The second product um, that I'm going to talk about is the OXX Finishing Powder. Now, when I first opened this up, I noticed it was ground down to a really fine mill like talcum powder. So alarm bells sort of went off in my head. And sure enough, when I looked at the ingredients on the back, the first ingredient was talcum powder. Now, I don't know how you guys feel about talcum powder in your powdered products, but for women transitioning from their 30s to their 40s, it's a huge no-no. It's going to be incredibly drying on your skin. It sits in the cracks and creases and lines. And I can quite often get dry patches around here. With this product in particular, I felt an incredible tingling and dryness around my nose area. And it just sat on top of my face. It didn't actually blend into anything and it just looked horrible on. I actually had to wash it off. So yeah, even though it's an incredibly cheap price point, sometimes you get what you pay for and this just is not a hit with me. A couple of products that I did like from the range and I think is really cool and affordable for the price point are the lipsticks. Now, I got one in satin and in matte formula, so I could try both. This matte formula is in Henry Ford, and here it is here. And this is the satin formula, and that's in Vintage Rose. It's got a beautiful shimmer to it. There's no chunks of glare, and it, it's really, really pretty on. I'm wearing it now, and I've already had a cup of coffee, it stayed on and that was the setting formula, so that's saying something. So I think if you are looking for an affordable lipstick that you just want to throw in your bottom of your handbag and have handy for work and things like that, because we all know we don't like using our most expensive brands every day, then I would recommend these lipsticks. They're not drying. They stay on as well as any other cream lipstick. They're not um, a um, liquid matte formula or a stay on formula, but they definitely have the pigment and the moisture, so I do recommend these. The other OXX product that I was pleasantly surprised by was the blush and highlighter palette. It comes with four highlighters and four blushes. I'm not a huge blusher person, but there are a couple of really pretty shades in there, especially for the summer and the highlighter pleasantly surprised me. I'm wearing it now. You can see it on film. It, it really melts into the skin. It didn't sit on top of the skin like the finishing powder did, which was so pleasing to me because I really thought these were gonna be chalky and drying and horrible, and it's not. It's really cool, I will use it again. So I do recommend this product. All in all, I feel like the OXX brand is 
some of it is a hit and some of it is a true miss. The fitting patterns and the finishing products, if they'd spent like just a dollar more, I feel like they might have really gotten a bit of product out of, out of it. But the pigment and the colour and the lipstick and the palette are really, really, really good. And I don't think they're too bad. So that, that's the end of my video today. I do have one quick tip for you guys. If some approaches with your lipsticks, it doesn't matter whether you're wearing a satin or a matte corner. As we age, our line and dead skin cells really show up on our lips. They can create a really drying aging effect. So I have a um, little duo kit here that I think is really great for everyone to start off with the summer just to treat their lips. It is the kit total hydration lip scrub. It smells quite minty. It's really minty. I scrubbed my lips with it before I applied this lipstick because I've noticed since I've started transitioning from my 30s to my 40s that I get this waterline here and my lipstick just won't go past that point if I don't use a lip scrub every couple of days and with summer coming up that you know just going to become more and more intense and for $12 you get the chapstick scrub and a total hydration chapstick Balm, which can come in some pretty sort of lavender and silver packaging chapsticks, usually quite plain. So yeah, for twelve dollars, I think it's a really good start for summer to lip treatments. And that's my tip for today. Stay tuned, and I'll see you next time.